And for those of us who've been in television for the last 20 odd, yes, yes, I know it's beginning to show, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm clearly in the wrong game. Marcus Butler needs some introduction of a course. Hello. Least of all because of your vlogging. And of course, Master Chef and Louise. Pentland, who is the sprinkle of glitter lady. Now that I love. Yes, good. As yes. you can imagine, because every time I'm at events like this, be it a red carpet or otherwise, yeah. it's like a glitter one has exploded in my hair. Glitterazzi. Glitterazzi indeed. There I'm going to take that and make it my own. Dude. Oh, that I could, but how I've many? Here first. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> and to all of your Twitter and Instagram followers. So tell me, um, how many Twitter followers do you actually have? Um, one point something million. Right. Okay. Not sure. And what is it you actually vlog about to the uninitiated? That's a good question. Um, life, anything that's happening in my life, I'm really interested in style and positive attitude. It was just going to be a hobby whilst I was pregnant, and I thought when the baby comes, I'll get, I'll do that. But I really liked it, so I just carried on. When you talk about hobbies now, and there's a lot of hubbub behind us, and obviously this space yeah. is a terrific space to encourage Amazing. the next generation yeah, of yeah. Uh, vloggers. Uh, Figures like 50 grand a week are being mooted. I mean, is that the sort of cash? How lovely. <laughs> You'd like to see some of that, would you? <laughs> <laughs> You're not alone. Look at that, just flutting her eyelashes. Yeah, you're going to go far. You're going to go far. So, uh, Marcus, obviously, we saw you most recently in, yeah. uh, in MasterChef, so we know you can cook. A little bit, yeah. Do you get recognised when you're out and about, or at least before the whole MasterChef thing? Did you get recognised? Yeah, funny enough, way more from YouTube than MasterChef. Uh, well, I think it's partly well, because <laughs> I came off MasterChef and then dyed my hair bleach, so that probably is like not the same anymore. But yeah, it's more like if we're walking around the street, there'll be people that come and say hi and they want to just and, chat to you. And obviously, I would imagine they feel that they can approach you because, because you've yeah, got because that dialogue we have, and interaction. We anyway. have an open relationship with our audience, so if we're sharing our lives with them, a lot of the time they just feel like they'll come up to us on the street and be like, hey, Marcus, how was your okay. trip here? Or, if your life is an open book, then, is there anything that you wouldn't share? Um, I mean, I probably, to say it on live TV. I probably wouldn't film myself on the toilet, perhaps. Okay. I mean, that might be a little barrier that I wouldn't want to overstep. <laughs> See, that's where I've gone wrong. Uh, that'll be coming up on an internet screen <laughs> you very, very soon. Um, lovely to meet you guys. I've clearly got a lot to learn. I'm going to go home and set up the tripod. I'll see you tomorrow morning. How, how old are you feeling right now? How old are you feeling? I've brought the average age up here by about 30 years, so I'm going to go. <laughs> so right. We have meetings in there for hours trying to get young people to come into church, and here they are on our doorstep. Fantastic. So we want to work out how we can show these people that Jesus cares about Pokemon players. And they will be here. We'll quickly we'll speak to Paul. Well, you're, you're quite concerned about people's safety because there have been some accidents.